Right, what we have here is, I believe, a um, Arduino clone. So uh, there you are, uh, China Post. Um, right, so the reason I got a clone rather than the uh, genuine article is basically uh, these are a lot cheaper. Um, it was about six pounds delivered, um, as opposed to about 16 pounds for the genuine Arduino. Thank you for your business, uh, thank you very much. Five star seller, yeah, good. Right, so what do we have? Okay, we've got a cable, um, which looks to be a uh, USB to, um, ooh, oh, that's very, yeah. USB cable, one of those kind of old school ones. And uh, hopefully this will be the Arduino. Mm -hmm. Packaging, very good. Now, on the, um, e ah, right, on the eBay, uh, Right, on the eBay um, listing it looks pretty dreadful, <clears throat> so the, uh, they seem to have tied it up quite a bit. Uh, hang on, let's, uh, let's open it here. Um, and uh, it looks mu much more like the, uh, the genuine article. Uh, because, for example it says Arduino, which of course is, uh, I believe, reserved for genuine Arduinos. Or Arduini or whatever they're called. Um, what's it got? It's got the 80 mega chip, I think, isn't it? Uh, yeah, 80 mega uh, 32BP. Uh, it's got the crystals. Um, and it looks pretty good. Uh, pretty good. It's a bit shoddy um, in that uh, if you look, these these pins aren't quite uh, in line with each other. But there we are. That's not bad. It's got a nice uh, fingerprint there. Um, uh, yeah, it's all just a bit bit dirty, really. I mean, you know, just could do with a bit of a clean. Um, uh, but essentially it looks kind of okay. The um, reflow soldering looks pretty good. All nicely lined up, yeah. So, um, yeah, not too bad so far. And the back, um, ah, made in Italy, there you go. That's, uh, that's quite exciting from something that's... Uh, brought in from China for six pounds. Um, I doubt that's true. Um, so, you know, this is the um, uh, Chinese equivalent. Look at that. Okay, right. That's where it starts going wrong. Um, so these are the pins that uh, it came with and uh, you can see they've been kind of damaged in transit or damaged in um, in production. So um, they're not, uh, not level. So you can obviously um, straighten them out but that's not good and the um if you look the the main ship there isn't quite uh down equally on either side uh but i would imagine it works um soldering on the back looks uh, pretty good hmm yeah so essentially apart from this uh, dreadful thing here it looks pretty they're pretty not, not bad, I'd say. Um, of course, all this stuff here, zero carbon pr footprint. Um, yeah, well, uh, that may or may not be true. Uh, made in Italy may or may not be true. Um, and everything else that's described on here may or may not be true. But the main thing is, um, does it work? So we'll find out. Right, OK. Um, let's just straighten these pins out. Uh, actually, they'll just straighten out without too much of a problem. Okay, that's not bad. Um, and let's plug it in, see if it uh, blows up. All right. Oh, there we go. Red lights. Very good. Couldn't help. Mm, let's try it again. Hmm, I heard a sort of cracking sound, but um, <clears throat> no, there we are. Uh, yeah, so it flashes, and we'll see uh, if it does anything more than that when we uh, connect it up to our PC. Right, okay, to get this thing uh, working, what we need to do is to um, download the Arduino software. Uh, so let's uh, do that. Arduino. Um, okay, so the Arduino homepage, 
and if we go to downloads and then the uh, installer for Windows open that okay so um, let's install that mm -hmm. Um, I said the uh, chip on the uh, Arduino was the uh, 80 mega uh, 32B. It's of course an 80 mega 328. Um, although knowing the uh, provenance of the Arduino board that I have, it may indeed be a 32B board. But um, <clears throat> we'll, we'll see. We shall see. Right. So it's extracting all the uh, files for the Arduino. IDE, which hopefully will uh, start in a couple of seconds. Oh, this is fun, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Right. Oh, there's a lot of it, isn't there? Look at that. Ooh, that's good. Extract Vienna. Mm -hmm. God, dear. Look at all of it. Right. We right okay. Let's install that. No, it's just extracting it. Goodness me. Right, close, and we should be able to then run the Arduino program. Uh, Arduino. Right, here we go. Right, so this is what you get. This is the uh, Arduino IDE. Um, and the programs you use are called sketches in Arduino. So um, the uh, first thing you'll notice is that it uh, doesn't say there's an Arduino collected. So let's uh, connect it up to the USB. There we go. Device driver installing. Installed. OK, so hopefully it knows where it is. Um, right, so you can get uh, various libraries um uh, okay examples basics blink okay so what we're going to do is just going to make a arduino blink so to do that we go back to our um arduino here let's turn it off first probably best um we're going to just connect it up connect up pin 13 because that's the one that uh, is used in the program connect up pin 13 via resistor to ground so let's just do that pin 13 uh, up to here I'll connect these rails not a good idea but you know um, send it back to ground via resistor um, about 220 ohms is is right I've got a 470 ohm so hopefully that is a circuit that when we Turn on the LED, sorry, turn on the Arduino, should work. Okay. Wow. And that's just working. That's incredible. Uh, why is that working? Oh, right, this is the. Uh, okay, so LED is actually. Um, pin 13 actually has a. LED already connected, which is um, just flashing by default, so that's not really telling us a lot. So, um, <clears throat> right, let's instead connect it up to pin 12. Right, pin 12. Uh, oh, around. That's the positive one. Pin 12. Right, okay, so hopefully when we turn this on now, um, the LED won't light. Right. Okay. Okay. So pin thirteen seems to flash automatically. Um, pin twelve is not doing anything at the moment. So uh, back to the um, screen. What we can do is we can um, change that LED to twelve, and then uh, verify that's an okay program. 
can't really see why well, there's a problem there. Okay, and what we need to do is we need to upload it to the Arduino by pressing the Arduino upload arrow thing. And uh, right, it's uploading apparently. Mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, binary uh, not in sync. Okay, so what I don't quite understand is why the Arduino says it's connected on COM1. Let's have a look. Is that doing anything? No. Um, Com five. Is that going to work? Okay, done uploading. Hey, there we go. Look at that. Oh, sorry, I had the wrong um, serial port. Uh, so it's actually on Com five. So there we go. We have our first Arduino project, a flashing LED, um, which is really very exciting. Um, even more so that it's a yellow LED. Um, so there we are, the Arduino seems to work, or at least it can get an LED to flash. Uh, well, you know, that's uh, that's the first thing. Um, and, you know, just uh, the reason for using an, an Arduino uh, rather than a Raspberry Pi is basically it um, enables us to use a lower power device and eventually what we're trying to do is to run the whole thing from this chip without all the uh, Arduino gubbins. Right, okay. Um, there we go. So this uh, cheap Chinese Arduino clone that's made in China but also made in Italy um, seems to work, except it stopped then. So we shall see. Hmm. Okay, just looking a little bit more at um, this flashing LED problem, um, I've re-uploaded the, uh, the Blink um, default Arduino uh, sketch, which is basically letting LED um, on pin 13 flash and you can see it's got this problem where after a certain amount of time it um, basically resets I think so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it through rather than using the USB cable from the computer I'm going to use one of these things a um, adapter to make it straight from the um, straight from the mains through this uh, 5 volt uh, adapter and we'll see what uh, what happens So here we go. Um, this is now powered from um, from the main through a uh, cell phone adapter, and we'll see whether we still get this problem. So um, the LED is flashing away nicely there. Well, there we go. Um, it seems as though if we power it directly from um, an adapter, a, um, a DC adapter, then it uh, seems to work perfectly. But um, if we power it from the PC, which, you know, should be the same, but perhaps it's interfering on the serial communication or there's something wrong with the um, with the circuitry that uh, controls the USB serial connection. Um, well, it seems to work now without uh, resetting, so maybe there is hope for this uh, cheap Arduino clone that uh, comes from China. So we'll keep an eye on it, but there we go. Our Arduino seems to work, and... Um, Let's hope it continues.